The Junior Achievement Program has reached its one millionth student milestone. This is huge, and they are celebrating in a big way. When we come back later on in the show, we're going to talk about the Junior Achievement, all the students it helps, and that's coming your way here on Good Morning San Diego. It is Tuesday. We'll be right back. Yes, yes we're going to be live on TV. Wait until you meet my new friend Logan Boozer he is here he is a fifth grade student he is here along with Marla Black Marla Black is president and CEO of Junior Achievement and uh, we have them here because something very special is happening with Junior Achievement uh, Ms. Marla Black good morning and uh, Logan good morning to you good morning. good morning all right so we are talking about the one millionth student this is a milestone what is happening exactly today? Oh, we are so excited. Um, today we are celebrating our one millionth student that has come through the life-changing junior achievement programs. And Logan is a prime example of one of our great students. Uh, so today we have a press conference. We are celebrating. Uh, we have uh, students in both BizTown and Finance Park. Mm -hmm. And all students today are the one millionth student. But Logan is our one in a millionth You're student. You're pretty fantastic. Congratulations. Congratulations, Logan. Where do you Thank go to school? You. Um, I go to school at Santa Ho Elementary School. And you are in what grade? Yes. You look so sharp. Can I just say that? You look you. incredible. Tell me about uh, your time, your experience with Junior Achievement. What have you learned? Um, so I've learned a lot. Mo um, a big part of it is self-confidence. I didn't really have the self-confidence to get myself out there and express myself. But with Junior Achievement, they helped me learn how to run a business and cooperate with others more fluently. So it's very helpful in that sense. My goodness. I can, I can feel the confidence you have. <laughs> I you. applaud you for that. And you learned how to run a business. Yes. My goodness. Tell me about that. Um, it was very difficult at first, but we managed to get the hang of it. It's difficult working with a lot of people, especially when you don't agree. We had some disagreeing mm -hmm. problems, <laughs> uh, but we are in the end at BizTown. We are able to, to pay off our loan because you have a loan at BizTown that you must pay off. Oh my goodness! And it was very, it was very fun. And yeah. It was it was an incredible experience. For was everybody. it was it more than one business, or was it, was it one specific business? Um, well, I didn't. Well. I would say one was business. it defined? Uh, yeah, it was defined. Okay, so. very good. Marla Black, for those who are not too familiar, um, Logan mentioned BizTown. Remind our viewers what BizTown is. Well, at Junior Achievement, we have two fantastic experiential training programs. One is BizTown. It's a 10,000 square foot mini city mm -hmm. where students like Logan are able to come in and run a business. They interview for a job. Uh, they are either the CEO or the marketing officer or the bank teller, depending on the job that they have, and they run the city. They produce a newspaper, they have a television show, uh, they're consumers, they're business owners, and at the end of the day, they are learning how to earn a paycheck, cash a paycheck. They're learning all about life. All about life. I mean, life. they're learning so much, so many skills, and uh, I've been there, so yes. I, I know firsthand. I have, I have met other students like you, Logan, and I am so proud of you, my goodness. Um, after today, I mean, where do you see Junior Achievement going? I mean, a one million student, you guys are clearly going strong. Uh, do you you know, how are you guys, do you need more support? Do you need more people to volunteer? How does it work if people want to get involved? Well, thank you for asking because we are a nonprofit and we do support over 80,000 students here in the San Diego region. Mm -hmm. Today, we are launching our one millionth student campaign uh, to continue to raise funds to support our programs. And we are looking to increase our outreach to our students to 20% of the student population by 2020. So we do need support. We mm -hmm. need financial support. Mm -hmm. All of our programs are run by volunteers, so we need volunteer support. Um, but most importantly, we just um, want everyone to recognize what a great milestone this is mm -hmm. and that there are so many students in San Diego, so many alumni that have come through our programs. We want them to reach out to us, to contact us. Uh, so anybody can go to our website, which is jsandiego.org, and um, reach out to me or to any of my staff and um, we'd love to talk to you about financial support, sure. volunteerism. Um, I also just want to take this time and thank our board of directors, our um, JA Yes members, and especially Mission Federal Credit Union uh, because they are our key sponsor 
in um, the Mission Fed JA Finance Park, which is our high school program. And um, so I just really want to thank all of our supporters. Well, that's great. Congratulations thank on you so much. this milestone. And uh, Logan, I'm going to ha leave you with the last word. What, what do you hope, what, what do you want to, do you know what you want to do when you grow um, up? Yeah, um, I, so recently I got a mentor for the, for the JA Hall of Fame Gala. It was a very wonderful event. So before that, I had the honor of interviewing a famous attorney, Janice Brown, and she really boosted my interest in law. I already thought that it was very interesting, but my career ideas were very solid after that. So I decided that I wanted to be a judge because, I don't know, I feel like whenever I'm doing a group project, everybody goes to me as the middleman because I never, I'm mostly unbiased a lot of the times You're I try to be. very fair. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, and so I just try to, like, I try to push mm -hmm. that passion forward. Like, I just read books about law, so it's very interesting, so I definitely want to be a judge. Oh, Logan Boozer. Boozer? Is it Boozer? Uh, Logan yeah. Boozer. Remember his name. He is going places. He's going to be on the cover of Time magazine. He really he is. is. I believe yeah. it. Yeah. I be you should be too. on the cover now. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank and you. Congratulations very much. Thank once you again. Very much. We'll take a quick break here on Good Morning in San Diego and we'll be back with more.